Happy good morning! And welcome to another video. If you guys are new, my name is Fern. In There's the previous episode, my family and I took a trip to Koh And please make sure to go back and watch it before you continue. This room is leaking. So this is what the outside of our hotel looks like. Okay. I didn't see green walls last night, but okay, I see the green walls today. And it's still wet, y'all. It's so wet. My husband and I are going to get some breakfast and then we're going to go straight back to bed. <laughs> Can y'all hear the crickets? Okay. Oh, there. Breakfast. This place is very peaceful. Wow. That's a huge bush. Would you call that a bush? I don't know. But it's huge and it's beautiful. Let's go check out their breakfast. We haven't even seen the pool, y'all. We got here at what time? Like six, seven o'clock? Cuckoo, Camila! My baby! I'm so happy to see this coffee machine because I have no more coffee left at home and this coffee machine is very welcomed. I think I'm gonna have like at least two, three coffees, y'all. <laughs> I love coffee. Coffee right on the beach. So this is the porridge station. Rice <laughs> porridge. <laughs> and here are waffles. Looks very nice with all kinds of toppings. Nice. What else? Onion soup. Bitter melon soup. Pasta, sausages. Would anybody like some pizza for breakfast? A good healthy pizza, vegetable pizza. And over here they have an egg station. You can get omelets, fried eggs, scrambled poached eggs. I got myself two poached eggs. The breakfast buffet was pretty good. If I had to rate it 0 out of 10, I'd give it a 6.5 out of 10. They offered a wide variety of Thai food and also breads and cereals. There was also a salad bar, but I didn't film it. But yeah, overall the food was pretty decent and I really liked the atmosphere and the fact that it was located right next to the pool. We just had breakfast and Little Miss is having her bottle right now. Yes, Hannah is nearly four and she's still drinking a bottle. No judgments. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna go back to my place and take a little nap. 11.10. Stunning huge tree. And last night when we got here, while it was raining, I saw that and I thought it was like a python. <laughs> I was like, ah, yeah, no joke. Many hours later. A little room service for little Miss Hannah. Yeah, you guys were too lazy to go out. <laughs> Y'all, this is what vacation is all about. Just allowing the laziness to settle in. <laughs> We've been to Koh Chang before and we know what it has to offer. We just want to rest and chill out. Hannah, is that so delicious? Yeah. Bon app. One hour later. It is pouring. Hannah speaking to her brother. She's like, are you coming? We're going to go to the beach. It's <laughs> funny. It's really funny. It's really funny. Twenty minutes later. It's not raining too much right now, so we're gonna go and look at the beach. Say la ba, say la ba. This is definitely not the best time to explore Kochang. 
during rainy season because you can't really do much. We're under the umbrella. <gasps> it's raining, baby. Oh, oh, la, la, it's la, la, raining. La, la. Thailand really humbles me. After being back for the past two years, I realized that I cool. don't need much to be happy. Even though the weather wasn't all that great, it was raining and gloomy. Plus, the majority of us had a stomach bug. Nothing was going to bring down my spirit because spending quality time with my family was so important. This was going to be our last family vacation together for quite some time. So I really cherished every moment. Look at the mountains, you guys, with all the fog and the clouds up there. Looks like a dinosaur is about to come down those hills and come and eat us. <laughs> but yeah, that's our hotel right there. Too bad it's raining, but this is an amazing little hideaway here. There are some bungalows right there, right on the beach. And we have some canoes there. If it doesn't rain tomorrow, perhaps my kids will go and do a little canoeing. But it has been raining on and off all day today. Did you have a good nap? I don't have a assist. Did you have a assist? No. I am in love with this gigantic tree. I'm short, but he makes me feel teeny. Teeny, 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 tiny. Even that house seems teeny tiny against it. Right next to this humongous, humongous tree. Wow. Oh, Ali! <laughs> My husband's cousin wasn't feeling so well during this trip, but after resting for a day, he felt better and we decided to venture out and get some dinner. But y'all, this is just a taste of what the roads are like on Kho Chang. We stopped at Kai Bay Viewpoint. Wow, this is spectacular. Okay, the camera is not doing justice, but if you come to Gao Chang, I highly recommend you stop here and take a little breather and have a little look. I'm so grateful we got to take this trip and make wonderful memories together. Obviously, we took photos and had great laughs. It wasn't our best vacation ever due to the weather, but at least we were all together and we made the best out of it. Now we're going to have some Italian food for dinner. I remember coming to this Italian restaurant about probably about five years ago. And we remember their food was incredible. If you guys are on Ko Chang, definitely check this place out because they make homemade pasta and their pizzas are incredible. I'm not sure about now, but I will keep you guys updated. And they also make like homemade desserts as well, which is a plus. But yeah, this is a very cute little restaurant. I will drop a link in the description box below. Just checked out and guess what you guys the sun is out oh my goodness this place looks so different with some sunshine but like I said we just checked out <laughs> 